How you doing guys? We're here at Knott's Berry Farm today. Yes. It's a fun day. We're gonna check out the new foods they have. It's also summer nights mm -hmm. here so at Knott's. So it's live entertainment and you guys actually opened up the new theme land, Fiesta Ooh, Village. So I'm we can't excited. wait to check it out. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun time. So why don't you join us today on this, this magic, magic journey. journey. Here we go. I just love walking into Knott's Berry Farm. It's a ghost town. It feels like you're like in an old west type of movie. It's pretty cool. Everything is so detailed and it gives you that old California feel. And then of course you can see awesome things like the blacksmith at work. And uh, yeah, overall they also have great food and you can smell it pretty much everywhere. But one of my favorite things here at Knott's Berry Farm is the funnel cakes. They are delicious. And hopefully before we leave, we get one. Cool. I got the dress shop right over here. But it's closed. <laughs> oh, do they really sell stuff in here? Oh, I see some stuff. What's inside? There's like some quilts over there, some thread. Oh, that's pretty some cool. Fabric. Is this cool. So we finally got our summer tasting card. It comes with six tastings, and I believe it's sixty dollars per taste card. And look at all the locations that have food, you guys. Wow, they got a lot. And they got the back. And from what I hear, the portions are pretty big. So I'm excited. Where do we start? I don't know, but we should walk around. And as soon as we crave something, let's just get let's it. Let's just get it, yes. yeah. Now there's so many options. You guys, you can also get alcoholic beverages here. Yeah, because at Disney, mm. when you get a tasting card, they do not offer alcoholic they don't. drinks. It's just and all here, foods. looks like they do. So that's, that's pretty interesting. <laughs> Water bombs. Go ahead, Janelle. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Prop Shop Pizzeria. They have some kind of spaghetti for a tasting, and we're gonna try this out. We're gonna let you know if it's any good. I've never been in here. It's brand new, and I've never tried the pizza or the spaghetti, but we're here to try it out now. First time here. Yes, I believe they opened last year. Please yeah, or 2021 or 2020, yes. I forgot. So also at the Pop Shop Pizzeria, they also have some pre-made salads here and they look pretty tasty. So we just ordered the summer spaghetti salad and that's what they're gonna make for us right now. That's part of the tasting. And uh, we're gonna use one from her card. Yes. Spaghetti and garden salad together? Why not? The summer spaghetti. Mm -hmm. It's very pretty. I know, right? Yeah. Now, I've never tried the pizza here, and I'm kind of curious to try it. I think the next time we come back to Knott's, we're going to have to try it for ourselves. And I want to see if it's better than Pizza Planets. I hope it is. Okay, so over at the Prop Shop Pizzeria, I got myself the summer spaghetti salad. It looks like it has cucumbers, tomatoes, olives. I think we should just dig in. Gotta Listen, do it. during the summer, I want something fresh, but I've never thought of having spaghetti with my salad. So this is the first time for me. <laughs> That's pretty Here cool. Go. It's very Ooh. interesting looking. Right? I'm trying to get every bite. Ah. The pasta itself already has the dressing. It's more like an olive with a little bit of like balsamic and vinegar, a little bit of pepper. I like it. The olives add a little extra saltiness. Now, I do want to add my own dressing. I have an option of Caesar dressing, Italian dressing, but I feel like balsamic is going to make it pop. So Now, is this very similar to like a macaroni salad, but with spaghetti? Yes. That's what I thought it looked like to me, so. Put a little bit on that corner, just in case I don't like it. Here we go. Oh, Janelle just put some balsamic dressing on yes, it. Yes, I do. To see if it enhances its flavor. Okay, good choice on the balsamic. Yeah. So that's going to go for the Caesar, but you're like, I think it will taste better with the balsamic, and you're right. Yeah, because wow. you think the spaghetti would be like really savory, kind of salty, mm. and adding a little bit of that sweet balsamic glaze. A little sweetness to that. Make to it that. balanced out right. a little bit, right? Okay. Okay, it's not spray farm. Wow, this is a really good salad. Now I kind of want to try the other salads that we saw in there. They have like prosciutto, green, and they have, they have different salads. So maybe next time I come to Knott's Spray Farm, I'm going to try one of those salads. But for now, I'm going to enjoy this and enjoy this stuff. Here at Summer Nights, they also have some performances that you can check out. All right.
right, so next we're gonna try the chimichurri sausage here at this booth. It's like, oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm like, oh! <laughs> at the grilling booth and the wrap booth. And I like the fact that they have music right Everything over playing. here. Yeah. Guys, the vibes here are jamming it up. Jam it up. So here at the wrap booth, they have BTLA chicken salad, lettuce wrap, chicken spring roll with a peanut sauce, and grilled zucchini and hummus. Start our items. And in the grilling booth, you're gonna find a chimichurri hot link sausage. They got a blue cheese and bacon cheeseburger slider with pickle mayo. And they also have the andouille sausage with red beans and rice. We're trying this one here and that one right there. Thanks so much. All right, Whoa. so that's the now first the item the here. Sausage. The andouille sausage with the red, red bean and rice. Ooh. Oh, it smells yum. <laughs> All right, right here. This is what you can get at the grilling booth. So this is the andouille sausage with red beans, rice, and some green onions. As soon as you walk by, you could just smell the aroma in the air and it smells great. I can smell the andouille sausage pretty much from across the park and I can't wait to try this for myself. I just, I go crazy for this kind of stuff. Alrighty. <laughs> well, this is really good. I do love this sausage. It's got a little bit of a kick and uh, it's got a little heat. <laughs> That's always such a great sight. It's right? so cool. I love it. It has a nice kick. Like I said, the sausage is great. It's uh, smoky, which I do like. Uh, the rice can be a little mushy, but it's very flavorful. I do like that. And the green bean, I'm sorry, the green onions. I'm a sucker for green onions. I add it to like pretty much every dish I cook at home. Yes, I know, <laughs> I, love I know. It so much. But uh, <laughs> overall, this is a great dish and uh, it's, it's a lot in here, guys. And with that tasting card, you're gonna be full by the end of the day. I'm pretty sure mm. six tastings per person. Uh, if you buy one card, you got six tastings. She bought a card, I bought a card, we'd have 12 tastings. I don't know what we'd do. That's just I know. way we, too much We're food. just sharing the one, <laughs> but even the one that we have, we've been like sharing everything and yeah, so far so good. That looks great, guys. If you wanna try it out for yourself, come over to Knott's Berry Farm and try it over at the grilling booth. It's great. So I was at the grilling booth. I had to get the chimichurri hot link sausage. It has pickles, chimichurri. I'm just gonna dig in. Ooh. Here we go. Oh, I love the sausage. It's quite spicy, so if you don't like spice, you guys, this is probably like an eight out of 10 on the Whoa, spicy level. Okay. The pickled onions do balance out that spiciness though, and that chimichurri is like nice and earthy. The only thing I don't like though, is the bread. It's a bit stale, and you know us, we don't like stale bread. Nope. So if it were to be like a honey, like a Hawaiian roll or something sweeter, I feel like that would have been better. But overall, this is a good, amazing sligget. Still having a stale bread is the worst thing you could possibly yes. have. It's it's one thing I really hate is stale right. bread. Right, I know, but it ruins a dish. Completely. It really does. Yeah. But overall, everything is good. I just don't like the bread. So what I'm gonna do is still gonna eat it and enjoy it and get some milk because it's it's a kicker. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Cheers, Janelle. <laughs> Here at the Charleston Circle Coffee, guys, they have this really cool s'mores bar that you guys are gonna lose your mind over. It's really cool looking. Nothing screams summer like a delicious s'more, mm -hmm. right? Yes. I kind of think of like Christmas when I think of s'mores. Really? Yeah, because they're like, like, like you're burning them over like a like an open fire, right? No, I think chestnuts. Oh, that's chestnuts. <laughs> chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I think s'mores when it's like camp or uh, like outdoor You're right, camp. you're right. I don't know why I had that in my head. You too. Dang! Wow. That looks tasty. Yay. <laughs> that looks like so much fun. But you guys, I got my s'mores. Look at this. How wow. pretty. Now, I like my s'mores on my marshmallow or extra toasty, like burnt. But this looks good. So here we go. That looks delicious. I'm gonna cut it in half so you can see the middle. So you can share. <laughs> yes. Well, we'll see. If it's good. Yay. Okay, bye. <laughs> How is it? Get your own, man. Hey! Food. Hey! Aha, what did I tell you guys? How'd you like it? I love it. I love the chocolate. It's nice and rich. Ooh. The marshmallow is just your regular marshmallow sweet. The graham cracker is nice and crunchy. I mean, 
I love it. I love it. And it's two for you and your friend, but it's about eight bucks, but you can use your tasting card for this if you don't want to spend your money. But uh, I would suggest save it for a different type of food, like a, maybe something that's a little more pricey, but still very good. I would never do that. There they go. They're coming down. Here they go. <laughs> yeah, you, you wouldn't catch me on that attraction. No way. <laughs> this is why people watch. Because me and my food, just enjoying that, that's fine with me. But that's too scary. <laughs> that's too scary. Oh, man. But how thrilling is it, too? Look at that. Whoa. Yeah, count me out. Yeah, it's thrilling. If you like those separate rides, but I'm gonna stick to my food. <laughs> yeah, this is really enough. <laughs> That's another ride you'd never catch me on. <laughs> Supreme Scream. That's a no from me. Oh my goodness. If you guys have ever been here at Knott's Berry Farm and if you've written the Supreme Scream, let me know in the comments below. I want to see who actually is brave enough to ride that. Okay, so we're about to enter Fiesta Village and right over here behind me, that is the Avenida de Sabor, which means Avenue of Flavor. They do have some foods here. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Olvera Street. It really does. Yeah, it really does. <laughs> Like, what does it remind me of? And you got it right yeah, on the Yeah, Street. And we're going to try the foods they have here. Now, we were invited by Knott's a few days ago, and we got to try some of the foods beforehand. And let me tell you, my favorite thing here was the chicken thinga tacos. And we're going to go grab it right now so you guys can see it for yourself. So over at this booth here, they're going to have some fire-roasted corn. It's street corn. They're going to put some mayonnaise on top, some Parmesan cheese, and then some chili on top, oh, kind of like a chili powder. So good. And butter. <laughs> pretty good and if you guys haven't tried it come and get it here they got the street corn elote some of my favorite Definitely stuff a must try for sure oh yeah <laughs> and over in this booth here they're gonna have some potato and chorizo tacos i didn't even try that last time that's something oh. maybe we should try you want to try yeah let's, let's get one it. let's try it out so last time we were invited by knott's Berry farm they showed us some potato and chorizo i think it was something different it wasn't the tacos but now this time we're gonna try them out we're gonna see how good they are but the chicken and tinga was my favorite. I hope these are also amazing. Okay, so right over here at the Avenida de Sabor, they have these right here. Take a look at this. Look at how beautiful they are. Now, right here, you're gonna have potato, you're gonna have chorizo, and you're also gonna have some cilantro, some onions on a flour tortilla. Now, every time I eat potatoes and chorizo, I kind of eat it for breakfast. That's, that's what I'm used to. Uh -huh. But uh, it's only because I think my mom would, you know, make it in the morning. I used to get chorizo and eggs. Chorizo and eggs. Yeah. It's very loud. Sorry about that, guys. The roller coasters are like, you know, it's not to very far. Yeah. All right, let's try this out. Remember, I used to eat chorizo. Chor I still do, actually. Chorizo and eggs. Chorizo and eggs are the best. So, so, so good, so good, so good. All right, here we go. I think I would have preferred it with corn tortillas, but still, I'm sure it's going to be delicious. My favorite ones are still the chicken thinga ones. Those are very, very delicious. These are great. Also, the potato melts away in your mouth. The chorizo has a great taste, a little bit of a kick. The only thing I do wish is that they did add the corn tortilla instead of the flour, but aside from that, it's still very tasty, very flavorful, and I would definitely recommend these. Now, I'm gonna show you my favorite, which is the chicken thinga. I believe that's inside the Fiesta Village. here at the Cantina del Sur and look we got these really pretty margaritas yeah they're called the Cantina del Sur margaritas <laughs> and Janelle got a mango got one a mango one she and got Michelle. a you got a frozen one right I got a frozen one so you have an option to get frozen or on the rocks the one that I got is on the rocks on the rocks and they serve you a lot these are pretty big yes. look they're about $22 and they come in this really pretty souvenir cup it's very nice like a little mason jar and they also have one of these look these are my favorite <laughs> <laughs> a little spicy mango pop. But uh, yeah, I can't wait to drink these. Cheers. Cheers. 
Bang. Ooh, that's good. That's sweet. Wow. Yeah, that's really sweet. You can taste the alcohol. So it's going to be one of those ones that creep up on you, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty nice, really cool. And if you want to get them at $22, kind of pricey, but they are big and they come with a nice little souvenir mason jar. Look at that. <laughs> got that tahini around the rim. They got some mangoes on top. Very and Janelle got a blue one. I got a green one. I did. Try, try it. It's a good one. show. Oh, they're going to have a show. This is honestly a great spot here next to the Cantina del Sur. Really cool, what a really, great really show! Cool. The great storytelling, the pyrotechnics, the beautiful dancing. It's oh. gorgeous, it's very nice. And uh, yeah, this is a, a great spot to watch it. It's literally right there. Cheers! I just love how lively it is over here at the Fiesta Village. They have music, they have shows, they have food, and they have attractions. Whoa, <laughs> there they go. Last time we were here, our friend Tyler and Allie got on this attraction. They got right on it after eating. Oh my goodness, yeah, they're so brave. I don't brave. know how they did it, but they did it, so pray <laughs> for them. <laughs> we're having so much fun over there where they have amazing singers singing right now and dancing that the ball had to get it actually closed. We're but just that's having okay. too much fun, man. Yes. Yeah. They closed the taqueria. <laughs> that's okay, though, because we got a chance to try it on the day of the media. And you guys, the if you come to Knott's Ferry so Farm, good. it's like the best thing to have here at the Fiesta Village. It's so good, crunchy, amazing. It's perfect. Here's a little clip of the chicken thing from yes. the night we came <laughs> at uh, for the media. Check it out. Okay, so right here we have the chicken dinga taco. And uh, as you can see, this is on a crunchy taco. It does look wonderful. <laughs> you know what's funny? I, I prefer mine like with a tostada, like a flat tostada. Well, chicken tinga, when I usually eat it, I put it like on tostadas. Yeah. So that's the cool that they're, they're tacos, but they still have that crunchy shell. <laughs> also, I think it's probably the same, just hold it. Sorry, go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> they really nailed the flavor. It's got that nice tomatoey taste. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I, it, once the village opens, I can guarantee you I'm going to be getting more of these. You don't just get one, you get two when they finally open. You're just getting one here. But guys, if you haven't tried Chicken Tinga, you definitely should try it here at Knott's because it's very good. <laughs> Some great music. <laughs> They're going pretty high. restaurant called Casa California and you guys right there you can make your nachos your burritos and your burritos it's kind of like Chipotle but it's not Chipotle it's not version of Chipotle <laughs> so yeah there it is there it is Casa California <laughs> all right so next we're gonna be here at the veggie booth they have these fried green tomatoes kind of reminds me of uh, hungry bear I wonder if they're just as good. I know, right? Let's try to play this game here. See here. 
No, this is hard. See, the whole object of the game is you have to get the, the ring in this hook by just doing this. Let's see if I can get it. Oh. Oh! <laughs> there we go. Yeah. I got it the first time. The, the second time I tried, times. it didn't go in, so I just gave up. <laughs> don't play me on the sunshine. Don't play me on the moonlight. So I had to get myself something at the veggie booth right over there. I got the fried bean tomato with arugula, corn salad, and some chipotle ranch right on top. Oh gosh. <laughs> Let's see. It's a lot of tomato. A lot of tomato. Tomato tomatoes. Those are pretty nice. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. A very pretty dish, I'll tell you that. As I destroy it. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, I wanna get some of that corn, some of that arugula, it's gonna be messy, but you know what they say, the messier the better. So, it's all right with me. Clink. Okay, for being a veggie, it's pretty tasty, you guys. I love the tomatoes, the arugula, the corn salad right on top. I especially like the tomato. It's very, like the crust around it, it's very garlicky and I like that. So, if you're a vegetarian, you're looking for something fun here during the summer. Looks and so not earthy. Warm, <laughs> you guys, it's so yummy. I don't know, I'm not gonna share with you. I think you're fine with that too. Yeah, huh? I'm, I'm, <laughs> I think I wanna try the next food. Mm -hmm. We should go find it. Yes. Before the park closes, because the park's yes. gonna close soon. In like about an hour and a half, off. so we should hurry. I know, let's go. <laughs> let's go for something that's more our speed, like the Calico Mine Train. Yes, the Calico <laughs> Mine Train. I'm always down for that. Ooh, look at that. This is a pretty waterfall. All right, we got the last cart. All this aboard. This is more now. speed, huh? Yeah, this is what I like. <laughs> a little slower. The cruise, the I, cruise one. Yeah, something that just cruises along. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> for gold flakes here in the water, we're fishing for those little blind fishes here and there. They ain't never seen a lot of fish. was dangerous oh my goodness i kind of want to know in the comments below who are the thrill seekers and who are the ones who just like to ride casually I, let me know in the comments i want to know because i can't be the only one janelle's one of them too she likes casual rides but I'm a, I'm let me know you call a people watcher with food in my hands <laughs> <laughs> same here like when i'm at the theme park that's what i love to do i like people watching i like fooding but uh rides those for me are like that's second. Only like <laughs> sometimes, and I feel daring, like you said, like I'll go for one, because it's like, you know, why not? Mm -hmm. But most of the time, I'm either people watching and eating a delicious, yummy treat in my hand. So I'm the same know. way. So Miguel said we wouldn't leave without eating a funnel cake. So <laughs> what better way to try a funnel cake than their summer one? Right now they have a mini Fruity Pebbles funnel cake, but they also have different ones here, and you guys, the funnel cakes are like, there's no joke. Like, well, the one we're getting is kind of, it's a, it's a it's mini. It's a little mini one. Yeah. And they're out of the ice cream, which is fine, because I'm still down for it. <laughs> yeah, I'm still down. We're yes. going to get the mini funnel cake, but if you were to get the regular funnel cake, they are huge. I'm talking, like, bigger than my face. They're like that. <laughs> you saw someone walk around, we're like, are, should we just... What? No, I'm kind of happy we're getting the mini yeah, one. Yeah, <laughs> because I want to try the I want to try the mini one, because we also eat a lot of food anyway, so that's yeah. perfect size. Perfect. Even the mini ones are huge, look. That is pretty big, yeah. Right? Even the mini ones are big. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so here is the funnel cake. Oh my goodness. I forgot a it, knife, so I'm gonna yeah. use a double fork. <laughs> gotta dig into that. That's a huge funnel. Mm -hmm. For being mini. <laughs> I mean, I was Many assuming nothing. like a little, like a little one like that, but no, it's like the size of a regular <laughs> one. I can just imagine the regular one. Oh my gosh. Which we did see, it filled up the whole plate. Yeah. <laughs> this is how you end the night on Knott's Berry Farm. Mm -hmm. Do yourself a funnel cake, add the toppings, if you just want powder, that's fine too. But this. I think the funnel mm -hmm. cakes are Knott's Berry Farm. It's like a staple food. Mm -hmm. It's something that if you want to enjoy the best foods at knots the funnel cake is it it's like buttery definitely it mm, it's like buttery crispy warm oh wow okay mm -hmm. perfect way to end the night at knots berry farm 
Today we got to do a lot of great things. We got to check out the Fiesta Village. We got to try some very tasty food. And we really want to thank Knott's Berry Farm for inviting us today. We were yes. invited. I know, that was so kind of them. So thank you, thank you so much. Yeah, <laughs> and if you haven't tried the chicken tinga, do and if you're coming favor. to Knott's, do it. Because that is like our top list must try. One of our favorites mm. for sure. Yeah, lots to ride. They're prepared for you for the summer because they're going to have foods, they're going to have festivities, and all that summer night's food. I really recommend you guys get the testing card or the tasting card, should I say. <laughs> but yeah, we had a great time, and I hope you guys did too. We're going to see you guys here next time on Magic, Magic Journeys. Bye.